should I make by Nadini Nayar, illustrated by Patsy Roy. Raja's mother was kneading dough. She was going to make chapatis. She gave Niraja some dough to play with. Niraja squeezed the dough. What should I make? He said. Niraja rolled the dough, dough back and forth. Back and forth into a long rope. At one end of the rope, he poked two tiny eyes. The other became a pointed tail. A snake, it's going to bite me, Niraj and yelled. Roll it up, quick, quick, his mother said. Niraj rolled up the snake. What should I make now, Niraj said. Niraj rolled the dough into a ball. He patted it, poked it in two tiny eyes, and pulled out a nose. At the other end became a long tail. A mouse, a mouse, Niraj yelled. It will run all over the house. Roll it up quick, quick, his mother said. Niraj quickly rolled up the mouse. What should I make now? Niraj said. Niraj rolled the dough into a paw. Then he pinched off a small ball and stuck it on a big ball. He made round eyes and pointy ears. He gave it a tiny nose and a tail. A cat, Niraj yelled. It's going to drink up all the milk. Roll it up quick, quick, his mother said. I can, Niraj said. It's go growing and growing. A lion, a lion, Niraj yelled. It's going to open its mouth and it's got big teeth. Quick, quick, his mother said. You know what to do. Niraj grabbed the lion and rolled it up round and round and round. He rolled the dough into a ball, round and smooth. Then Niraj pressed it flat, a small circle. Niraj rolled the circle bigger and bigger, a, a big round chapati. His mother put on the top, it puffed up. Squeezed, pinched, patted, round, rolled flat and round hot, light, puffy. It was the best chapati that Niraj that had ever eaten. Say hello by Rachel Isadora. Kamrita gets up early in the morning. She helps her mama to make their favorite breakfast huevos con tequino we today we visit abuelas rosa mama says after breakfast carmelita hurries and gets dressed then man gets manny they walk all the way down 9th avenue a buenos dias Senor Enrico calls a buenos dias wolf. Shalom, says Mrs. Rosen in her children. Shalom, wolf, shalom. They stop in at the Japanese restaurant to say hello. Konnichiwa, konnichiwa, wolf. Down the street, they met Joseph and his parents, who just came back from Kenya. Jumbo, Jumbo, Wolf. They pass by Bakery. Carmelita stops to look in the window. Let's go in to get some cookies, her mama says. Bonjour, Wolf, Bonjour. Your dog speech speaks French too, the woman says, smiling. Wolf. Samaritan, 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 Samaritan. Chow, chow, wolf. Niho, niho, wolf. In the park, Kamarita meets her friends, Max and Angel. Hey, yo, what's up, wolf? You're one smart snoop dog, Angel says. When they turn the corner, Abuela Rosa is waiting for them. Hola, hola, wolf. 
Manny seems to know what I'm saying. Abuelas Rosa says with a wink. Manny knows how to speak in many languages. Carmelita says, smiling. Jingle, jingle, it's the ice cream truck. Abuelas Rosa says. Well, that means Manny wants some too. Carmelita says and gives Manny a big hug. Okay, so today we're going to go on another hot air balloon ride to a different country. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, yeah. close your eyes. Pretend you are getting inside your hot air balloon. Are you on? Yeah. Okay, open your eyes. Let's watch all of our hot air balloons go up into the sky. Okay, let's count down because we're going to land in our country, okay? We're going to count down from five, so help me count. Ready? Yes. 
So both characters got tricked in our story, right? Both main characters got tricked by Mr. Dog or the Big Bad Wolf. Give me another one. Yes. So who got saved in both stories? Both who? Um, Good, so both the girls and their grandmothers got saved. So grannies were saved. How else are they the same? How else are they similar? Yes. Because um, when the dog just takes um, to see Selma's stuff to ask for it to, and her mom thought it was her. Good. So how would that be the same to our other story? Well, he, well, they both, the grandma, they both got correct. So both guys, we do have that they both got tricked. Who can expand on that? What's another similarity? Another similarity. Yes. Um, nice job. So in the story, both girls were told to not talk to strangers. They don't talk to strangers. Don't, don't talk, talk to strangers. To strangers. Hi, my name is Miss Williams. I'm a fourth grade teacher for Syracuse Academy of Science Elementary School. I've worked for the Sandy School District for about the past three and a half years. When I started here, I wasn't accustomed to teaching with such a diverse group of students. So incorporating all of the cultural differences was a little bit difficult for me. It was a new experience. Dr. Schmidt pulled myself and many other teachers into classes and trainings where we discussed the best tools to use in lessons in order to include culture within your lessons. One of the things that she had us do was teach a lesson and have her observe it, and then she gave us constructive feedback. The first lesson that I taught was a lesson about family differences. We read a children's story about how some families are raised with two moms, some families are raised just by dad, some families are raised with grandma, and how every home is different. I discussed with the students how I have two dads and a mother. I have a stepfather and a father. And it really opened the door to a lot of open communication in the classroom. And students began to learn so much more about each other, so much more about the background of each other's lives and it really truly helped the students to connect not only with themselves but with myself and the other teacher in the room as well. Dr. Schmidt observed this lesson, gave me a lot of constructive feedback on how to go deeper into the lesson, how to incorporate more of students' cultural backgrounds into the lesson. The second lesson that I did that Dr. Schmidt also observed was right before Ramadan started for many of our students. I had one of my students' parents come in that practice Ramadan and go through a slideshow presentation on how Ramadan goes, what the steps are, how students practice it, and so on and so forth. And this really opened up a lot of questions for students in the room about other cultures, and it allowed the students to understand what other students in the room were doing. And it really just opened so many great discussions and really, really brought culturally inclusive teaching to a strong aspect in the classroom. Hello, SAS Adams. My name is Mirza Tihic and I am Omer's father. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to tell you a little bit about Bosnia and our culture. Before I tell you about Bosnia's culture, let me quickly tell you where Bosnia is located. It is, as you can see on this map, in the southern part of Europe. Bosnia is the, st is the size of the Adirondack State Park or the size of the state called Rhode Island, which you are, I'm sure all familiar with. 
But let the size not fool you, even though it is small, it has a thousand year old rich history and culture. Today, I want to show you some traditional fast food in Bosnia called Cevapcici. And I know what you think, Cevapcici what? Cevapcici. Yeah, this is how you spell it. And this is, I know, a tongue breaker. Try to say it, Cevapcici. And this is how they made served and I hope you enjoy the video that we're gonna show you quickly now. Yes, Cevapcici are grounded links that are grilled on wooden charcoal and served in Bosnian flatbread called Somun with onions and some people add sour cream and eggplant sauce with it. You are lucky because in Syracuse, New York, we have a Bosnian restaurant called Euro Bazaar which serves Cevapcici and we hope you will get the opportunity to try Cevapcici there. Enjoy and bon appetit! Hi, I'm Melek, I'm Mipek's mom, I was born and raised in Turkey and in this video we will give you some facts about Turkey. Enjoy! Cultural Cruise to Turkey Merhaba means hello. This is a Turkish flag. It has a white crescent on it, we'll face white star next to it, the background is red. This is New York and this is Turkey. To go to Turkey, you need to fly over the Atlantic Ocean. It's an 11 hour flight from New York to Turkey. Turkey is located on two continents, Europe and Asia. And the second, it's the second largest country in Europe after Russia. This is Turkish map. Turkey is slightly larger than Texas. This is Ankara. Ankara is the capital of Turkey. And this is Istanbul. Istanbul is the largest city in Turkey. Hi, I am Joshua Sheldon. I am from India. Let's learn about India and Tamil culture. We are from India, which is the largest democracy in the world located in South Asia. This is the seventh largest in terms of land space and second most populous country in the world. India has 28 states and eight union territories and we are from Tamil Nadu which is in the southern part of India. India has a rich tradition of literature, art, music and dance. There are 22 official languages and 122 major languages spoken in India and also close to 1600 languages in total, including the dialects. The primary language spoken in Tamil Nadu is Tamil among other languages, and it is considered the first classic language of India. The earliest written Tamil literature existed as Sangam literature dating back to 300 BC. And it consisted of more than 2300 poems. And the oldest known grammar book of Tamil is Tolkapiyam. Among the various famous Tamil poems, the one notable is Thirukural, translated in various languages, including English, written by the famous poet Thiruvalluvar, in whose memory the statue was erected at Kanyakumari, which is at the southern tip of Tamil Nadu. The Kiladi excavation site from Tamil Nadu was found to be one of the ancient settlements of Tamil Nadu in the Sangam period dating between 3rd and 6th century BC. When it comes to religion, 87% of them are Hindus, 6% of them are Christians and 6% of them are Muslims and the rest 1% comprise of other religions including Jains. Pungal is the harvest festival of Tamil Nadu which is celebrated over four days during which the rice which is harvested is cooked in a clay pot over the fire stove 
and families come together and celebrate this and offer their prayers to the sun god. A famous sport during this festival is called Jalli Kattu or the bull taming contest during which the players try to hold on to the hump of the bull when it's racing through the course and whoever stays on on the hump the longest wins the contest. And these animals are local breeds of the bull and grown as pets by the owners. This sport is traditionally considered as a mark of bravery for men. Tamil Nadu is famous for traditional textiles and handloom, especially cotton and silkware. And it contributes to 40% of yarn production in India and largest exporter of knitwear. This is one of our pictures wearing our traditional dress. Hi everyone. Yeah. My name is Omolara Hadelaya and I have with me my husband. Adeyuka Hadelaya. How are you doing guys? We are here to tell you about some fun facts about Nigeria. Yes. Do you have anything to say? No, go ahead. <laughs> so, we're going to start by the name Nigeria. Nigeria was named after the largest river in the West Africa. Yes. And the name of the river is River Niger. Yes. Guess what? Nigeria is a multicultural country whereby we have over 500 ethnic groups. Yes. And the three popular is the Yoruba from the mm -hmm. west of Nigeria. Yeah. And we are Yoruba. We are Yoruba. <laughs> We have the Igbo, and the Igbos are from the south of Nigeria. Yes. And we have the Hausas, and the Hausas are the north, north of, of Nigeria. Nigeria. Yes. And we are also a multi bilingual country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. Multi bilingual in terms of we have 600 dollars. Dollars, yes. And we have the three most major ones. Yep. Which is the Yoruba. Yoruba. We are, like we said, we, we are, are Yoruba. Yeah, we, we have the Igbos and we have the Hausas. Yes. And there is one language that brings every one of us yeah. together, which, which is the English. English language. Yes. And the English language is from Britain. Yep. Because Nigeria was colonized by Britain. But in 1961, October 1st, 1961, we get independent. Yeah, no. Yes. And from there, we've been using English as our official, official language, language yeah. which is a British English. English, yes. What do you have again? In language? For the language, we're going to tell you like three words or four words. In case you will see us and you want to greet us in our language. If you want to say good morning. Say Ekaro. Ekaro. Good afternoon. Ekaso. It's Ekaso. Yes. And good evening. Ekale. Ekale. And maybe you want to say hi to me. In our language, it is Bawuni. So next time you see me, maybe on the road, maybe I come to school visiting, and you see this lady just say Bawuni, which means hi. hi. And when we're talking about religion, yes. Nigeria has three Different. major religions, yes. which is a Christian. We are Christian. Christian. Yeah, Christian goes to church. church. We serve Jesus. Yes. And Muslim, they go to mosque. Yep. And we have the third one, which are the traditionalists. Yes. And they've been known for worshipping small gods like the sun, so, like the moon, like a lot of things they worship. Yes. So we have the the Christian, we have the Muslim, and we have the tradition. tradition. Yes. And when we're talking about food in Nigeria, Ooh. we have a lot, a lot of, of traditional food. food. Oh. And we have the one that is so popular, which people call oh, Nigerian jollof rice. rice. Yes. It's just like the regular rice we heat up here. Yes. It's been made from rice, tomato, onions, and red pepper with some spicy. But it's a famous food in Nigeria. Delicious food. If you go to Nigeria, you ask anybody about the food, they said Nigerian, Nigerian jollof rice. Jollof. <laughs> <laughs> and we have many, many more food. Yes. We have um, beans, 
We have yeah. another popular one, which is another traditional food, which is the fufu. fufu. And fufu can be, a, be, be, be categorized in many, many ways. Many ways. Yep. We have yam, yam pano, we do yam. pano yam, we have plantain, we have a lot, a lot of traditional food. Yes, we do. And you know what again? Nigeria is called the giant of Africa. Africa. Yes. Oh my goodness. People yes. don't know this. Yeah, they don't know. And they call it the giant of Africa because of its population. Yes. We have over 200 million yes, people, people in Nigeria. Yes. <laughs> A lot of people. <laughs> and because we are the oil producing the country, oil the produce, largest oil producing, producing country in Africa. in Africa. We call it gas in America, yes. but Nigeria called their gas oil. So we have the largest producing oil country, yes. and that's one of her major economic yes. resources. resources we have. And Nigeria is blessed. Yeah. <laughs> we have a lot of resources in Nigeria, mm -hmm. and the major one is the yeah, oil. oil and, we yeah. have the cocoa. Cocoa. We have the we, we cocoa, have uh, coconuts. Yeah. We, we have, have a lot of stuff. Cashews. Um, uh, what's the co coffee beans? Yeah, a lot of them. Yes, a lot of them. That's why it's one of the you know the richest African yes. country. Yeah, and it's been known for the most populous in the in the Black African nation. Yes, and it's the seventh known in the world African nation in the world. Yes, and what do you have again? If you're talking about our traditional outfit, we have a lot oh, of traditional outfits. Yeah. Because we are from Yoruba, this is we the way this. we dress. Yep. <laughs> you see the lady, they, we use our whole yep. hair tie. And men got this. Men got this, the way we yes. dress. <laughs> Although this is a modern Yoruba dressing. Yes. And you can see the necklace on me, on my husband. This is our traditional Tradition. jewelry. Yes. And this is known as our reality because yep. anywhere you go, if you have an occasion like a wedding, yep. like naming ceremony, ceremony, name it that uh, baby yep. dedication, Any organ organization, like funeral, this is what they use. We are yep. being known for this. So this yep. is our culture. This is our heritage. Yes. And what again? Um, we also we uh, we have a major sport back home too, which is we call soccer. American call it, we call it football, and American call it soccer. Our football team is called Super Eagle. We are not worldwide. So, anything else? <laughs> yes. And another thing people don't know is the richest man from Africa come from Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And his name is Aliko Dangote. Dangote, yes. And what are they? Aliko Dangote. Yes, we have many, many more things. Nigeria is one of the fun places to be. Yes. Maybe in future you never know. If you're looking for one of the best African countries to, 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 to go to, Nigeria is the be best to place to go. Especially the Lagos, oh. the Habuja, the yes. Port Harcourt. Oh. We have a lot of you know, fun places you can go. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about the animals, it's just like a regular animals. Regular animals. So I want you to talk about the animals. We have the major animal we have back home is monkeys and snake. We also have a crocodiles. And uh, deers, and that's a small, small animal we have. And if you want to see like a big animal, like lions and elephants, zebra, you have to go to zoo yeah. because you know yeah. we are more than now not to run in the wild <laughs> anymore. So if you want to see the big animal, like you have lion, to go to zoo. like giraffe, giraffe, like elephant, you have to go to you zoo have to, to go see to them. Zoo to see them because yes. they have kept in safe the, in the zoo. Yes, 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 and you know. Like we say, we we, we, we we are we are developed country. Yes. And I tell people in Africa, we had developed country. Yes, we have yeah. underdeveloped country. Yes. But Nigeria is one of the developed country in the sense that we are blessed with a lot of resources. Yes. We have a lot of things. You know, we, we sell out outside mm -hmm. the country. Yep. So we, we we are developed, and we have we we have doctors. We have a lot of educated like people, people, especially from the Yorubas, from the side. south, from Yoruba. the west and the south side of the Nigeria. 
We have doctors, we have lawyers, we have lawyers, hospitals, we have a lot of, you know, many, yes. many things, many, many things we have to in Nigeria. Yes. And, you know, do you have anything to say? That's about it. We, we cover it up. Yeah. Thank you so much for giving us the privilege to, t- to tell you some fun facts about Nigeria. And I want to say, God bless America. God bless Nigeria. Nigeria. And I want to say, stay blessed and have fun. Bye. Bye. Hi, everyone. Thank you for watching our video and showing interest in our upcoming book, Authentic Voices, Culturally Responsive Teaching and Learning. As one of the deans at Syracuse Academy of Science, I truly believe that a team that learns together grows together. This experience has been a phenomenal journey for us, and I hope you enjoy the book.